Several of the classical authors tell us of the custom of cutting off the heads of enemies defeated in battle. None of these texts mentions the Iberian peoples, but rather their Gallic neighbors, describing their particular method of combat and celebrating victory. Thanks to them, we know that the Gauls were ferocious warriors who fought amid a great din. Before the battle began, when the troops were in formation, certain warriors moved forward, shouting and shaking their weapons with the aim of demonstrating their strength and, at the same time, provoking and intimidating their enemies. Once the battle was over, the Gauls turned to cutting off the heads of their opponents who had died in combat, which they then tied to the necks of the horses and took home for public display. This bloody task could take hours or even days in the case of bigger battles. The ancient authors described it with disgust as they considered treating human remains in this way could only be carried out by uncivilized peoples. The most important and detailed literary evidence we have comes from the Greek geographer and historian Posidonius of Apamea, who traveled in southeastern Gaul between the end of the second century and the beginning of the first century BC. His writings, although now lost, inspired later authors such as Diodorus of Sicily and Strabo, who used them to describe the ways of life and warfare of these peoples. Strabo expressed it in the following terms. To their impetuosity, we can add the barbarous and extremely inhuman custom we find among the majority of the northern peoples, which consists of, having returned from battle, tying the heads of their enemies to the necks of their horses, and once at home, nailing them in front of their doors. The heads of illustrious enemies were anointed with cedar oil and exhibited before guests, refusing to sell them even for their weight in gold. Another classical writer, Titus Livius, who lived around the turn of the era, tells us in his famous history of Rome, Ab Urbe Condita, that the Gauls were already decapitating their enemies at the beginning of the fourth century BC, almost three centuries before Positonius of Apamea saw it for himself. In a passage of his work, he tells us that following the Battle of Clusium in 295 BC, when a Roman legion was massacred by the Celts of northern Italy, the Gallic horsemen carried the heads of their defeated enemies hanging from the breasts of their horses or impaled on the ends of their spears as they expressed their triumph in song. These and other testimonies, together with archaeology, help us understand a ritual that was also practiced among the people of northern Iberia.